Welcome back to the channel, where we break down the craziest tech and military moves shaking up the world. Today, we're diving into some huge news. China's J-20 stealth fighter just tripled its radar detection range, and let me tell you, this is a total game changer. How did they pull this off? Is this beast now the king of the skies? What does it mean for air combat and global power? Buckle up, because we're about to tackle the big question. How did China triple the J-20's radar range? Hit that like button, smash subscribe, and let's jump right in. Alright, let's get to the meat of it. Reports are buzzing that the J-20, China's fifth-gen stealth fighter, also known as the Mighty Dragon, has tripled its radar detection range, making it a serious contender in the skies. According to posts on X and a report from the South China Morning Post, this leap comes down to a breakthrough in semiconductor technology led by scientist Xu Shangong at Shandong University. So, what's the secret sauce? Let's break it down. The key is a new silicon carbide, sick, semiconductor chip developed by Xu's team over the past two decades. This isn't just any chip, it's a powerhouse that supercharged the J-20's phased array radar system. Silicon carbide is a beast of a material. It's tough, handles high power, and works like a charm in extreme conditions. Unlike older silicon-based chips, SICK can push radar systems to detect targets at much longer ranges, three times longer, to be exact. Shandong University's post on May 30 called this chip a hardcore shield for China's defense tech, and it's not just hype. It's boosting not only radar range but also missile accuracy and even laser weapon power. Now, let's talk about what this means for the J-20. The fighter's radar, likely the Type 1475 Active Electronically Scanned Array AESA, was already solid, with estimates of tracking 20 targets at 200 kilometers. With this sick upgrade, we're talking about a radar that can spot enemies way farther out, giving the J-20 a first-mover advantage in beyond visual range BVR, combat. Imagine locking onto a target before they even know you're there. That's the edge this gives China's pilots. The chip's high efficiency means the radar can pump out more power without frying itself, and it's compact enough to fit seamlessly into the J-20's sleek, stealthy design. But how did China get here? Xu Shangong's team at Shandong University has been grinding for 20 years to crack this. Back in the day, China lagged behind, Xu himself said they couldn't even make a decent sick substrate two decades ago. Now, they're producing high-purity, semi-insulating sick crystals that rival what the US uses in systems like the F-35 and THOD. This is a big flex for China's push for tech self-reliance, especially as tensions rise and they want to cut dependence on foreign tech. There's more to it, though. The J-20's radar isn't just about raw power. It's paired with an advanced avionics suite that fuses data from multi-spectral sensors, giving pilots a 360-degree view of the battlefield. This sick chip likely amps up the radar's ability to process signals faster and cleaner, cutting through clutter and spotting stealthy targets like the F-22 or F-35 with better accuracy. Some sources even suggest China's been testing this radar with drone swarms, using them as scouts to feed data to the J-20, making it a nightmare in coordinated attacks. Now, let's keep it real, there's some skepticism out there. China's got a history of hyping its military tech, and we don't have hard combat data to confirm this tripled range. Plus, while the SICK ship is a big deal, integrating it into a complex system like the J-20's AESA radar takes serious engineering. Any hiccups in software or hardware could limit the real-world impact. And let's not forget, the J-20's stealth isn't perfect, its canards and larger radar cross-section compared to the F-35 might still make it easier to spot from certain angles. So, how did China pull this off? It's a combo of cutting-edge SICK chips, decades of R&D, and a focus on building a radar that can outsee the competition. This upgrade makes the J-20 a bigger threat, especially in the Asia-Pacific, where it could target key assets like AWACS or tankers from insane distances. But is it enough to dethrone the F-22 or F-35? That's a question we'll dig into later in this video. Now, we're tackling the big question. Does this make the J-20 the ultimate stealth fighter? Is it ready to outshine heavyweights like the F-22 or F-35? Alright, let's cut to the chase. 
The J-20's radar range tripling is a massive flex, potentially giving it the ability to spot enemies from hundreds of kilometers away, way before they even know it's there. But does this make it the king of stealth fighters? To answer that, we gotta stack it up against the best, like the US's F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II, and see if the J-20's new radar crowns it the champ. Let's break it down. First, what makes a stealth fighter ultimate? It's a combo of stealth, how hard it is to detect, sensors, like radar, weapons, speed, maneuverability, and how well it integrates all that into a combat-ready package. The J-20's radar upgrade, based on that silicon carbide chip we talked about, boosts its Type 1475 AESA radar to crazy levels. Ex-posts and reports, like one from the South China Morning Post, suggest it can now detect targets at ranges that might outstrip the F-22's AN, APG-77 or the F-35's AN, APG-81. If the J-20 can lock onto enemies from, say, 600 kilometers instead of 200, it's got a huge edge in BVR combat, letting it fire missiles like the PL-15 before the other guy even knows what's up. But here's the thing, radar range alone doesn't make you the champ. Stealth is the J-20's calling card, and it's solid but not perfect. Its radar cross-section, RCS, is estimated to be larger than the F-22's, partly because of its canard design and less optimized shaping. The F-22, built from the ground up for air superiority, has a freakishly small RCS, think marble-sized on radar. The J-20, more like basketball-sized from certain angles, according to some analysts on X. So, even with a beefy radar, if the J-20 gets spotted first by an F-22's stealth or the F-35's insane sensor fusion, that range advantage might not matter. Speaking of sensors, the F-35 is a data beast. Its AN, APG-81 radar, combined with systems like the Electro-Optical Targeting System, EOTS, pulls in info from every angle and shares it with other jets, ships, or even satellites. The J-20's radar might see farther now, but does it match the F-35's ability to network and process battlefield data? We don't have hard evidence, but China's been investing heavily in avionics, and some ex-posts hint the J-20's data fusion is catching up, especially with drone swarm integration. That's a scary thought. Imagine J-20's using drones as extra eyes to amplify that radar range. Weapons are another piece of the puzzle. The J-20's PL-15 missile is a monster, with a range of up to 300 kilometers, and that extended radar could make it deadlier by guiding it from farther out. The F-22's AIM-120D AMROM maxes out at about 180 kilometers, so the J-20 might have an edge here. But the F-35's versatility, carrying everything from air-to-air -air missiles to precision bombs, gives it a broader mission profile. The J-20's more focused on air superiority and long-range strikes, which is dope, but it's not as multi-role as the F-35. Speed and maneuverability? The J-20's no slouch, especially with its upgraded WS-15 engines, which some sources say are now in play. It can supercruise, hit Mach 1 Plus without afterburners, like the F-22, but the Raptor's thrust vectoring nozzles give it unreal dogfighting agility. The J-20's canards help with maneuverability, but they might compromise stealth at certain angles. The F-35, meanwhile, isn't built for dogfights, it's more about striking from the shadows with overwhelming data. So, is the J-20 the ultimate stealth fighter? That radar upgrade makes it a legit beast in BVR combat, potentially outranging the F-22 and F-35 in detection and missile shots. It's a massive step for China's Air Force, especially in the Asia-Pacific, where it could target high-value assets like a WACS or tankers from crazy distances. But the F-22 still rules in raw stealth and dogfighting, while the F-35's sensor fusion and networking make it a battlefield quarterback. The J-20's closing the gap, no doubt, but ultimate? Not quite yet, it's more like a specialized predator that's now way scarier than before. One thing to watch, China's not standing still. If they keep pumping out upgrades like this sick radar chip or pair the J-20 with AI-driven drones, the balance could shift fast. For now, though, the F-22 and F-35 still have tricks up their sleeves. We've already dug into how China pulled this off and whether it makes the J-20 the ultimate stealth fighter. 
Now, we're zooming out to the big picture. What's the strategic impact in the Asia-Pacific region? With this radar boost, is China reshaping the power game in the skies? All right, let's set the stage. The Asia-Pacific is a hotspot. Think South China Sea disputes, Taiwan tensions, and military buildups from Japan to India. The J-20's new radar, powered by that silicon carbide chip we talked about, could now spot targets from hundreds of kilometers away, maybe even 600 kilometers, based on ex-posts and reports like the one from the South China Morning Post. That's a game-changer for China's air force, but what does it mean for the region? Let's break it down. First up, power projection. The J-20 was already China's ace for dominating the skies, designed to counter US jets like the F-22 and F-35. With a tripled radar range, it can detect and engage targets, like enemy fighters, AWACS planes, or tankers, way before they get close. In the South China Sea, where China's building artificial islands and flexing its military, this means the J-20 could control massive swaths of airspace, making it harder for the US, Japan, or Australia to operate without being seen. Imagine a J-20 locking onto a US P-8 Poseidon patrol plane from halfway across the sea. That's the kind of reach we're talking about. Next, Taiwan. The J-20's radar upgrade is a big deal here. Taiwan's Air Force relies on older F-16s and Mirage 2000s, which don't have the stealth or sensor range to match. With the J-20's extended detection, China could spot Taiwan's jets taking off from bases and target them with long-range PL-15 missiles before they even get close to the Taiwan Strait. Ex-posts have been buzzing about China pairing J-20s with drone swarms for real-time intel, which could make it even tougher for Taiwan to defend its airspace. This ramps up pressure on Taipei and could embolden China in a crisis. Then there's regional allies freaking out. Japan, South Korea, and Australia all fly F-35s, which are stealthy and networked but might now be outranged by the J-20's radar. Japan's got a big F-35 fleet and plans for its own stealth fighter, the FX, but this J-20 upgrade could force them to speed up development or lean harder on US support. South Korea is building its KF-21 Boramae, but it's not a full fifth-gen jet yet, so they're vulnerable too. Australia's got its F-35s and E-7 Wedgetail AWACS, but those high-value assets are now bigger targets for the J-20's long-range missiles. Posts on X suggest these countries are already rethinking their air defense strategies. What about India? They've got a border dispute with China and rely on Su-30 MKI and Rafales which are great but lack the J-20's stealth and now its radar edge. India's working on the AMCA stealth fighter, but it's years away. The J-20's upgrade could push India to fast-track that program or buy more Western jets to keep up. Now, let's talk US response. The US has bases in Japan, South Korea, and Guam, plus carrier strike groups roaming the Pacific. The F-22 and F-35 are still top dogs, but the J-20's radar range could complicate things. For example, US tankers and AWACS, crucial for coordinating air ops, are big, non-stealthy targets. If the J-20 can spot them from 600 kilometers out, it could disrupt US operations, forcing carriers to stay farther from China's coast. The US might counter with more F-35s, next-gen NGAD fighters, or even electronic warfare to jam the J-20's radar, but that's a costly escalation. There's also the arms race vibe. This upgrade signals China's tech is catching up fast, which could spark a regional race for better jets, radars, and missiles. Japan's FX, South Korea's KF-21, and India's AMCA are all in the works, but China's moving quicker. ASEAN nations like Vietnam or the Philippines, who don't have stealth fighters, might lean on alliances with the US or buy cheaper systems like Sweden's Gripen to stay relevant. But let's pump the brakes for a sec. There are limits. We don't know if the J-20's radar is fully battle-ready or if it sacrifices stealth for this range. Plus, China's air force lacks the global reach of the US. They don't have as many bases or carriers. And while the J-20's a beast, it's not invincible. F-35s could still outmaneuver it with superior networking and stealth. Some X-users argue China's hyping this to scare neighbors, and without combat data, we can't confirm the radar's real-world performance. 
So, the strategic impact? The J-20's radar boost strengthens China's grip on the Asia-Pacific, making it a bigger threat to Taiwan, US assets, and regional allies. It's pushing Japan, South Korea, and others to rethink their defenses and could spark a mini-arms race. But it's not a checkmate, yet. The US and its allies still have stealth and tech advantages, and China's got to prove this radar lives up to the hype. What do you think? Is the J-20's radar enough to make it number one, or are the US jets still holding the crown? Drop your hot takes in the comments, and let's keep this debate lit. If you're loving this breakdown, hit that notification bell for more. We're diving into the next big question soon, stay tuned. Peace out.